Thomas felt something stick to his hair and immediately knew it was a spider web. He frantically swatted at it and rubbed his hands over his hair to get the rest of it off of him. He turned to Victor and said in frustration, Why are we walking through here, man? There's spider webs everywhere, and you know how much I hate walking into these things. Victor laughed. He walked right into that sucker. He kept walking as though he hadn't even heard Thomas's question to him. Finally, Victor replied, You said you wanted to get home before anyone else. This is the best way to do it. Pedro used to use these woods as a shortcut every day after school. He always made it home before the buses. Thomas snorted. Your brother is an idiot. This doesn't seem like a shortcut at all. Thomas wasn't paying attention to his surroundings and walked right into another spider web. He felt some of the webbing get in his mouth and he immediately started spitting towards the ground. Victor tried to stifle a laugh as he watched Thomas struggle to get the web off of him. Thomas shot Victor a dirty look. We've been walking forever. Just admit that this isn't a shortcut and we can get out of here. Victor shook his head. It's a shortcut, man. We've only got a few more minutes of walking, then we are home. Thomas looked Victor dead in the eye. You've got five minutes to get us out of here, otherwise I'm walking back the way we came. Victor sighed. Okay, let's keep walking. The pair continued their walk through the woods in silence. It was clear that the two were mad at each other, but no one was willing to apologize. Thomas looked off to his left at the trees as they passed. He noticed at least one small spider web on each of them. He patted his head again just to make sure that there wasn't anything crawling around on it. Victor tapped his hand against Thomas and pointed in front of them. You see that big rock? Victor asked. Thomas nodded and Victor continued. My brother said once you see that rock you're less than five minutes from home. Thomas grumbled under his breath. We better be. Thomas was about to pass under a tree branch when he was barely able to make out another spider web. He ducked just in time to avoid running into it. He yelled out in frustration. Why are there so many spider webs? Victor was getting tired of Thomas's complaining and said, Cause there are spiders here. You keep destroying their homes, man. I'm sure they're as mad at you as you are at them. Thomas scoffed. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Spiders don't have feelings. Victor shot back. You don't know that. I'm just saying, if someone destroyed my home, I would be mad. Thomas decided to ignore Victor and kept walking. He looked over at the trees they were passing and noticed that each one had several spider webs on them. Unlike the ones he had seen before, these were much easier to see. It was as if the webs were getting bigger. The sense of anger that Thomas felt towards the webs started to turn into mild anxiety. He asked Victor, Hey man, have you noticed the spider webs? Victor let out an audible sigh of annoyance. Would you stop talking about spider webs? It's like you're obsessed with them. Thomas noticed a tree a few dozen feet to the left of them that was covered in webbing. Thomas couldn't see a single branch that wasn't covered in it. He grabbed Victor's arm and forced him to stop. Look, man, look at that tree. Victor stared for a few seconds and shrugged. Cool, it's a tree. Thomas frantically said, No, look at the webs. The whole tree is covered in them. I've never seen that many spider webs before. The look on Victor's face changed from annoyance to one of worry. Victor looked at Thomas. You're right, that's a lot of spider webs, but we are almost out of here. We don't need to worry about it. Victor started walking forward again, and Thomas reluctantly did as well. Thomas was now looking back and forth between the trees with growing fear. Each tree kept having more and more spider webs on them. The webbing looked like it was getting thicker and seemed like each new web was more densely spun than the last. Thomas was so busy looking at the trees on both sides of him 
that he didn't notice Victor had stopped walking and bumped into him. Thomas asked, Why did you stop? Victor silently pointed and Thomas followed his finger. There were three large trees in front of them. They were all roughly seven or eight feet apart from each other. Thomas knew right away that it wasn't trees that made Victor stop. It was what was in between them. The space between each tree was completely covered in webbing. The webbing was so thick that Thomas wasn't able to see through it. He looked to see how high the webbing went and saw that it continued into the tops of the trees. There was no way that normal-sized spiders made these. A feeling of absolute terror now washed over Thomas. He turned to run back the way he came and found himself face to face with a large wall of webbing between the trees they had passed through less than two minutes ago. He yelled, We're trapped! He looked to see tears welling up in Victor's eyes. There was the sound of something moving above them, and Thomas frantically looked to see what it was. He couldn't see anything, but he heard it moving. Then, suddenly, there was the sound of more things moving around above them. Something was skittering through the trees. Thomas looked at Victor and whimpered. I told you this wasn't a shortcut. 